Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to another timeless pick a card reading. So today we are going to take a look at where is your higher self cheering you on? This could be your higher self, this could be your guides, your angelic team, whoever it is you think you work with on that other side. Let's take a look at where they are cheering you on. So this should hopefully be a really upbeat, positive, happy sort of a reading. We'll see what cards come through. It'll be really interesting. But I thought we could all do with a bit of a boost. So feel free to choose from group one, group two or group three. And I'll see you in your reading. And also, by the way, I just wanted to thank the incredibly kind and lovely person who wrote... Uh, some feedback on the meditation tutorial thank you so much you did mention that you watch pick a card and I really loved your feedback there's been one person who's written some feedback and it's been so helpful so thank you so much for letting me know but yeah choose from between group one group two or group three and I'll see you in your reading hi there group one if you chose group one then you are in the right place let's shuffle and see What's happening in your world and oh, I'll shuffle a bit more and where are you doing great right now where are the angels and guides wanting to cheer you on and say you are doing amazing keep doing what you're doing I'll take these I have no idea what we're doing today actually uh, cards wise why don't we draw why don't we draw all of them first so I've got this deck here and I've got the flower oracle, which is so beautiful. I'd hardly bring that one out. Such a good deck. Okay, I don't know how to arrange these yet either. Oh, and we've got Archangel Gabriel as well. Deck. This is the color palette. So let's see what comes through. I've also got the guidebook for this one. We're having really nice weather today. It's amazing the sun has come out as well, which is so good. Okay, I'm going to take that one. And one of these. And then if we need more tarot to clarify, we can certainly draw more. Let's see what's happening. Oh, why don't we take two? <laughs> All right, let's see what comes. And then in the jar, we've got some interesting quotes. I've kind of forgotten what they are because I drew them on the weekend. So how about we look at those last, actually? And we'll look at these first. Oh, wow. Grace. And the first thing that came into my mind, actually, was grace under pressure. Now, I'm not sure if that's a phrase or if that's I vaguely remember that's the name of a TV show as well <laughs> but um, we've also got the number five here so there's like some change in your world and it seems that you're doing amazing you're handling the pressure really well you're graceful you're graceful where other people would probably be going crazy right now so that's amazing so we're off to an incredible start Oh, wonderful. Passion flower. Sacrifice. This is a beautiful card. I love the colors. So if we take a look at the guidebook for this one and see, because I don't know these ones that well. So passion flower, sacrifice. We've got here sacrifice, generosity, giving of ourselves for the greater good. Incredible. And in terms of colors, we've got, you know, sweetness, passion, we've got some blues, trust, loyalty, honesty, lovely. Okay, these are great cards. Let's see what this is. Vulnerability. Listen to your vulnerable feelings as they contain wisdom and inspiration. And then pray for strength to focus on your priorities no matter what. 
So I think your angelic team is cheering you on to continue to be vulnerable and do so at a pace that is comfortable for you. Okay, don't feel pressured to you know, do too much too soon kind of thing if vulnerability is something that's hard for you which it is for all of us. It's hard sometimes. It's hard to talk about our innermost feelings sometimes, you know, with certain people, you know, with family members, friends, especially if things aren't going right. This can be really challenging. Inspiration. Yes, your idea is divinely inspired. Take action accordingly to set it into motion. Wonderful. So if you were looking for a sign or confirmation that you should go ahead with something, this seems to be saying, yes, that's a good idea. All right, let's see what's happening with tarot. This is very exciting. So far, so good. So far, so good. Hierophant. So in terms of cheering you on, I think your guides or your higher self is also encouraging you to follow a traditional path at the moment. This doesn't seem to be a time where radical changes would be a good idea, I think. But let's see what else we've got in the tarot. Let's see what else is coming through. Seven of Cups. Okay. Interesting. I want to see the next one as well. Judgment. Right. So in the context of cheering you on and perhaps yet yeah, a traditional path forward or a tra traditional way forward would be good at the moment. We've got the Seven of Cups here. We've got a lot of choices, a lot of options. And I think you're going to have to be very discerning about which option you go for. But I think overall, I get, yeah, and I get this sense that your angelic team or those on the other side, they're really, they're, they're also admiring you as well. They're admiring how you're handling everything right now. And over here, like, yeah, it's interesting. I think these kind of come together. Sacrifice. You are working hard. You're doing a lot. You're under pressure. There is a lot going on. But I also think the time is going to come. To me, this is like art. The time is going to come where you're really going to be able to indulge in things that inspire you and in expressing your creativity, your art, that time is here for you. And your higher self is definitely cheering you on to this place where you can... And this, yeah, this kind of feels like the work that you have to do and this feels like the work that you want to do. But it also does feel like you need to take a more traditional path for now there's yes there's a lot of options but be discerning and be balanced as well judgment seventh house you'll want to be balanced I, yeah I also got the phrase just now spinning a lot of plates like there's a lot going on for you group number one let's take a look and see what's in here what kind of guidance we get oh Okay, let's take these two. Anything left over, I'll put them on Instagram. Oh, nice. Once you shift your priorities from having, doing, being to being, doing, having, your destiny will be in your hands. Yes, this really works here because this is, this is like a shift. It's like here you'd be being on this side. Your life will be like 
a work of art kind of thing or like your life will be your greatest masterpiece kind of thing whereas here it does feel like there is sacrifice here you are working for someone else and it's for a time and it is that kind of you're building someone else's kingdom for now but the time is coming where you'll be you'll be able to do more of this you'll be being doing having Yeah, this is, this is a good quote here. All right, let's see what the next one is. Expect little from people. Expect a lot from yourself. That's the secret of a happy life. Yeah, and at this point, person's name I got this from Instagram in case anyone wondering where that is from that's where it is because I only follow uh, Neem Karoli Baba and because I only follow him Instagram gives me lots of other sort of wise people and this is one of them so I, I think you're doing this beautifully I think this is you because that's what the angels and higher self and everyone on that other side is admiring about you I think you do this really well. And I think you need to go a bit easier on yourself. And it's so interesting here that in this card, we've got... Now, typically this is... I think this is kind of like the high priest and it's instruction. It's male authority. It's all that kind of thing. But here the depiction is a yoga teacher. Isn't that incredible? And I think there is another message here that you do need to relax. You could do with a bit of time out. You could do with some yoga, relaxation, a spa day, something where you really treat yourself. And this is pure indulgence. This is your creativity. This is you doing what you love and just being you. This is you just being yourself through your art, through your creative self-expression. This is pure joy. This is wonderful. And it kind of feels like you're not getting enough time to do this, but that you are on the right track. Keep going. And the time for this is coming. The time will open up. And you're going to really be able to enjoy enjoy life in such a way that your whole life becomes a work of art you know and you're just sharing that with other people and it's this it's that being doing having you've got everything the right way around and this is also reminding me I'm, I'm sure I've quoted this on pick a card before um, what's that guy's name Richard Branson he says it's not it's not work or living for me. He says, no, it's not work or play for me. It's all living. That's it. Yeah, and that, that's the kind of thing that I think you're creating in your life. I don't think you're going to have such a massive distinction between, you know, work and play. I think you're going to create things so that it's, it's all just one, you know. And I suppose don't be distracted. That's what this is. Don't be distracted by too many other options, by, you know, um, procrastination. Yeah. Don't be distracted. You're doing great. This, there's a huge amount of confirmation here that you are doing absolutely amazing, group number one. So I hope this has been a good reading for you. Your higher self, your angels are definitely cheering you on and excited for what's to come. These cards are terrific. So let me know how you got on in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group number two. If you chose group number two, then you are in the right place. Let's take a look and see if we can find out what's happening for you. That one wants to be here. And where are your higher self or guides or angels? Are, 
they're cheering you on. And how are they cheering you on? What areas of your life? What do they have to say? They're looking at you and they're, they're amazed. They really are. They're like, you're on earth now? Get out. <laughs> right? They are like, wow. Anyone who's on earth right now is incredibly strong because you got to be you got to be strong or crazy or something like that to be here right so yeah earth school is um and it's it's pretty hot right now everybody's here you know a lot of a lot of souls all that kind of thing everyone wants to be here oh we'll shuffle this first and then we'll shuffle the flowers okay if we need another one of any of these, we can go for it. Oh, we've got our color palette here. Just put that there. See what colors come through. Okay. Let's see which of these comes through. We'll take that one. All right. So which way will we go? We'll go, we'll look at these first. So you have got... Oh, how beautiful. Heart healing. Wonderful. I think your angels and guides are cheering you on for how incredibly mature you are and how you have healed your heart over time. It, sometimes it may not feel like it. You might feel like, am I progressing? You know, we all go through that. We all go through, am I, am I progressing? But this is where you have to look back some years ago and recognize, wow, I really have changed. I really have grown. Sometimes it doesn't feel like it because sometimes the same things keep coming up. But if you observe closely, you will see that it's, it's not the exact same thing that keeps coming. If you look for the areas where you've grown, you'll see that you've definitely grown. It's so important to observe. Oh, terrific, keep going. Yeah, I felt like group one was a bit of a keep going type group as well. But here it is for real. So use the energy of any disappointments to fuel your creative project with authentic emotion. Yes, that's beautiful. Keep going. So there's a massive confirmation that you're on the right track, that the things that you're imagining that you want to do, you should be doing them. You know, because, and not should in a, in a guilt trip sort of way, because that word, Louise Hay always says the word should is a very... Um, you know, guilt, guilt trip kind of word. I get that. But as in the things that you're imagining that you want to do is for a reason. It's important. So if there's a book that you want to write or there's music that you want to publish or there's, you know, that's come to you. That's, that's a gift that's come to you and, and you are to birth that. And that's important that you do that because it didn't go to anyone else. And... Yeah, you've got to do your creativity. It's so important. It's, it's really, really important. And know that there's time. Know that sometimes I feel the pressure of, because I always have lots of ideas come into my mind and sometimes I, I just don't have the time or the energy or, you know, and I, I feel bad from that. But yeah, that's interesting. That's coming up. I, I feel like don't feel bad if it's taking time or longer than you expect or there are delays yeah let's let's keep going with the cards here see what's oh how gorgeous lily of the valley that is beautiful power to visualize a better world yes oh this is powerful whatever the creative work that you want to do the thing that you want to birth and bring to life that is powerful and that's something that i think is going to help lots and lots of people let's take a look so lily of the valley says here power to visualize a better world imagination manifestation yeah we've got a lot of strong blue type color here as well and that is you know we're getting into the realm of saturn here so i think what it is that you want to create is going to be really powerful and it's really going to help a lot of people so it's going to be important for you to, to find the time to make it happen, but not in a rush. I think the other thing is we've got the deep blue here. You're, it's going to take time. The thing that you want to build and that you want to make 
and that you want to get out to the world, it's going to be a slow burn. So that's also why there's this keep going message. Let's see what we've got up here. Four of Cups, yes. We've got, oh, the Hierophant, how interesting. We just had that. Wow, okay, so we're getting some, some serious messages here. Yeah, Two of Wands, look at this. For you guys, the work that you want to materialize and do, it's Saturnian, it's going to take a long time. It's that whole thing of you can't write a book in one day. You know, it really does take minimum like a year, two years to write. Even just a good book, you know, like <laughs> not something excellent or brilliant, but just something decent. It will take a year or two. I know there's that nan nano remo thing where they write a book in a month, but yeah, I, I don't know about that. <laughs> that would need some serious editing. But what you're doing here is slow. What you're doing here is is going to take time. The other thing is you might be at a stage where you are strategizing. Maybe this is going to take a lot of strategizing before you even get to really birthing this thing. You are being asked to take a traditional path. It is, it's this thing of writing a book. It's like, um, do we have any authors here? Because it's like, this does feel, it, this is some kind of large, slow project that can't be done in a day, it can't be done in a week. It's going to require a huge amount of strategizing. It's going to take time before you even materialize anything. And you're going to have to take a traditional path with this. And that is like writing a book. There, the, when you write a book, there's, there's a traditional way. You can't innovate too much. It's like you have to sit and write. <laughs> and you have to do it over a really long period of time. This is that kind of thing. I don't, yeah, I know we've got some authors in the audience. So, and I think every now and then you might get a bit deflated or disheartened or it's taking so long. Should I, do I throw in the towel? And this is a keep going message massively. You might be have at times you might, and, or if you're starting on this road, at times you will have the feeling, do I throw in the towel? And I tell you, no, you keep going. It's funny, I was thinking about this the other day. I was thinking about how in 2020, when I, I really wasn't well uh, for several months, first several months of 2020, I was badly ill. And um, I used to keep managing to do the monthlies for this channel, though. And I remembered, I never had this, do I throw in the towel feeling? It was just like this, thing that had to get done and I was thinking about this just the other day this is interesting here because I remember just it was just like that has to get done you know it wasn't because I was wondering did I make a decision I think I did you know I think early on I did make a decision that I would commit and never miss a month and that has happened so far even when I was at my sickest when you write a book, it's a little bit like that. You can't, you commit early on, yeah, and then you just, it just kind of gets done. You don't have to necessarily keep deciding each week or each month or no. You commit and then you're on that road. This is like that, the Hierophant, this tradition, that path. Commitment, commitment is here. Commitment is, this is also marriage. But I'm reading this in a creative context because that's very much what's coming through. And I think your angels and guides are cheering you on and they're saying, yes, you're doing amazing. Keep going. It's going to be hard. There's going to be delays. You're going to feel like, am I, am I progressing? It's interesting. Yeah, that, that came up early on in here with this card. You know, and I was saying that when I was talking about this, I was saying that you look back a few years and you'll discover... I have progressed. This feeling will just come. Let it be there. You know, that's just, 
that's just part of it. And the, the other thing they say when writing a book, Sonia Choquette talks about this. She says that, yeah, she says, I used to think I have to be in the mood to write. And she said, but that's, but she said, there are so many things in my life. She's like, well, when I have to pick up my kids, do I say I have to be in the mood? She's like, no, I, I go and pick up my kids. And she realized that she needs to do that with her writing project. She's like, even if I'm not in the mood, I just have to do it. Yeah, I totally understand that. That is interesting. Let's see what comes in here. I'm really curious about what's in here. Sorry about the noise earlier. I don't know if you heard someone was taking the bins out. I, I realize I should have closed this door, but it doesn't matter. Um, okay, so what do we have here? Good people do not need laws to tell them to act responsibly, while bad people will find a way around the laws. Yes, that's true, Plato. Thank you. <laughs> Um, how does that apply here? It's interesting, we've got this thing about laws. And we've got the Hierophant here. Good people do not need laws to tell them to act responsibly. And we were talking about commitment, and we were talking about just doing the writing anyway, even if you're not in the mood or, you know that you commit and that you turn up to the writing space, even if you've got something to write or not. That's how Eckhart Tolle did his book. I'm just getting a strong sense that you're going to do this. I'm, I'm not feeling like... Because um, you are this good person who, yeah, you don't particularly need laws or rules or... Do you know, this kind of relates to me thinking about my monthlies because what I, one of the things I realized with my monthlies was I just, they just get done. They just happen. I don't have to like, I'm not making a decision each month or it's just a happening. And I think that fits here. Good people do not need laws. Like good people are just good people. They don't need a set time or a, maybe it's that set time or a structure and we were talking about that it's interesting let's take a look here a superior man is modest in his speech but exceeds in his actions confucius this i love this quote and this is that thing of you know when you know when, th this is interesting when you say oh, i'm going to do this but then, are you doing it? There's that. And it's, yeah, more, this phrase was coming up earlier in the reading, but then I was getting distracted from the person taking the bins outside. And that was, what was coming up earlier was um, when the rubber hits the road. Like, and I feel like the rubber hasn't hit the road yet. I feel like maybe there's been a lot of talking, but you haven't, you, you haven't birthed it yet or you're not doing it yet. But there needs to be talking and strategizing. I can see that. This is strategizing she needs to plan she needs to look out onto the horizon she needs to you know but perhaps there's a message in here that is you got to stop talking and you got to do more doing i think there's some of that yeah i think there is some of that but on the whole i think your angels are massively cheering you on and there was that message straight away that was like anyone who's on earth school right now is an absolute hero so keep going you're doing amazing perhaps a bit more in terms of action but recognize that this is a very big thing that you're doing and you can't do it all in a day so it's getting the right balance between those two things and you're going to do it you're going to do it just to chip away a little bit each day a little bit each day you're going to get there group two I'm super excited for what it is that you're going to create. Let me know in the comments below how you got on with this reading and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there group three. If you chose group number three then you are in the right place. We're going to shuffle and see what's happening in your life. We're going to see where your angels, guides, higher self are. Where are they cheering you on? Because they are with you helping you all the time and they are definitely cheering you on always okay so we're going to take those and 
and one from here. Oh, that one wants to be here. Good. As well as one of these. I hope your week has been good. Mine has been super busy. I've been at my desk the whole week. <laughs> Doing lots of things. Okay. Right. Oh, we'll take that one. Okay. So let's see. Let's start here. We'll move those to the side for now. All right, what have we got? Ooh, the big picture. Perhaps you've been spending time. Interesting, we've got a number five here as well. Five, so there's change in your world. And perhaps you have been spending some time looking at the bigger picture, getting a feel for how you fit or how you shape things. I think your guides and angels are encouraging you to take a look at the big picture. Perhaps, oh, we'll, we'll get into it, we'll see what's going on here. Perhaps you've been detailed but you need to look more big picture. Oh beautiful, allow yourself to receive. Wonderful, open your arms to welcome the blessings and answered prayers that God is sending to you. Wonderful. Let's take a look. I want to see what the next one is before I say any more. Oh, lovely. Cinderella. Linear. That's lovely. Let's take a look at the guidebook. So that is linear. Oh, oh. maybe it's... No? Oh, it's not here. Gosh, isn't that amazing? How could it not be here? Ah, oh, because it's zinnia. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> they do have proofreaders for these things. Cinderella. First impressions can be deceiving. Oh, isn't that interesting? My first impression was that it said linear. So my first impression was deceiving. Because I didn't notice the top of that L there, which is a Z, <laughs> which makes it a Z. First impressions can be deceiving. What appears plain will blossom into magnificence. Wow. Oh, that's great. That's a great card. Okay. Perhaps your focus has been a bit narrow or small because you're being asked to expand and you're being asked to allow yourself to receive. And this thing about first impressions might be deceiving. That is very true. I always acknowledge that actually when I meet people. Sometimes, yeah, my, my first impressions of people are usually not Correct. Like, yeah, I, I do struggle with that, actually. I don't really judge people on, on first impressions. I know some people who do. I know someone who, like, she just looks at the photo and she's like, no, nah, I, I don't want anything to do with that person. I never do that. I can never do that because I, I, I can't tell from a photo or from what someone looks like. I can't. I know that. And there's an astrological thing around that. I might talk about that in an astro chat. Um, interesting. Let's keep going here. Knight of Swords. Okay. Oh, sweet. The Lovers. Yeah, th this is some kind of uh, interesting first impression thing. Oh wow, the Ace of Cups, my goodness. Well, there is love on the table for you, group three. Gee, this is great. But I, and I, what I think is that there's like a huge amount of love or there's someone who wants to love you or come, there's, they're coming in, you, you haven't met them yet. And you know, there's love for you, but it feels like you might be a little bit in your head and you could do with 
something about you broadening your outlook or and maybe maybe you think love is there but it's actually here kind of thing like you might think yeah love love is right over here but it's actually here the whole time something like that could be at play here that could be the deception as well where you you think it's somebody but it's actually no it's yeah the love that you seek is is there but you're not seeing it or there's something about you expanding your vision expanding your outlook allowing yourself to receive okay that's really important and that is our feminine energy it's through the feminine that we receive and perhaps you've been and this could be that yeah you've been really work focused you've been busy you've been look at that the sword you know you're you're busy you're writing your work documents sending your emails and you have your head in your work yet there is love this whole side of your life wants to grow but for some reason it's hidden or it's masked you or you're not seeing it or you think it's somewhere but it's actually somewhere else and i can the other thing i get the sense is that your guides and angelic team they're actually like they're marveling and they're kind of like on their side and I, I don't I hope I'll get this right I hope I get I hope I communicate this in the right way because they're they're finding the whole situation charming even a little bit amusing like they're not laughing at you they are just laughing or marveling at the situation that and the excitement you know imagine the excitement that they must have because guides do this incredible job of setting you up with someone and they're like okay we want you to go and work at this place and you're going to meet that person and then they're going to take you to a party and then you're going to meet that person and it's, it's all that kind of thing like on their side that whole orchestration and all of that must be so much fun you know to be a guide or an angel and to fix up two people who are going to be who are going to become life partners how much fun must that be on their side i think that would be the most fun like being an angel would be or a guide or whatever would be to like fix up two people wouldn't that be just the best let's take a look and see what's going on in here so i feel like if you're not in a relationship if you're single i think that you will be you know We've got a bit of a noisy bird out there. I don't know if you can hear that. But we've got some some bird noises. Oh, the bird's quiet now. Oh, no, there he goes. <laughs> okay, let's have a look and see what's in here. Oh, wow. Yeah, this was on Instagram. You don't arrive to a new earth. It arrives through you. That's beautiful. And I think there's a huge amount of love that wants to come through you you've got so much love that wants to come to you that wants to come through you and that could be yes with a partner or with a person but that could be universal love that could be universal divine love that uplifts other people that encourages other people that inspires other people that's what you've got wanting to come through you so this, yeah, sure, it could be a love thing, but it could be an art thing. It could just be there's a huge amount of inspiration and love that wants to pour through you, which is great. Yeah, you don't arrive to a new earth, it arrives through you. And that's the thing, with every little thing that you do, with every post that you put, with every bit of something that you give out to the world, you can be building that new earth in your space. That's what so many people are doing around the world. That's what I see. I see every day so many people. I, I love watching other people's pick a cards. That's one of the ways that I relax. And I, I enjoy so much. And there's thousands, hundreds and thousands of pick a card videos being pumped out every single day. And that's a lot of, a lot of those are positive and, and uplifting. And there's a lot of love coming out into the world and, and people trying to uplift each other. I find it so good 
so so good and we're all part of that you know we're, we're kind of doing that here right so uh, in the small matters trust the mind in the large ones oh the heart this is so beautiful this is Freud yes yeah that's so true that and interesting because did I say earlier that you might have been focused a bit small or narrow or there's something where you're like or you're being quite fine and you're being asked to expand so what's that this quote is unbelievably perfect you're being asked to be more heart based and what that is is when you're heart based yeah you 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 expand don't you it's heart is all about expansion heart is all about yes you know where the mind says no and we have to deal with these details the heart is expanding and saying yes 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 i include you i include you i include this I include, it's all you know it's all love it's all me yeah this is great great quote why don't we be greedy and take another one because we're kind of we're good for time today and that way we'll have two yeah we'll have two left for instagram this is wonderful energy here, group three, wow. When you find no solution to a problem, it's probably not a problem to be solved, but rather a truth to be accepted. The eternal truth, that's on Instagram. Yeah, this is cool here because this works because that this kind of works with this. And this is where if you've been a bit narrow or a bit smaller, a bit finely focused, it's probably because of work. It's probably because your mind, you use your mind a lot. And perhaps maybe if it's to do with a person that you, that there could be this love with, maybe you are really looking critically at them and... Maybe that, that's, yeah, there's, there's no problem as such. Just accept, accept that that's the way they are kind of thing. Yeah, when it comes to love, you're not going to be able to change anyone. But being in love, a lot of healing happens for both people, actually. And that you'll learn from Chuck Spezzano. He's an amazing psychiatrist who who teaches all of that. He teaches amazing things. Guys, I'm going to have to wrap this up. This has been such an amazing reading, such a beautiful reading. I think your angels and guides are really cheering you on. And, and, and delighted, actually. They are delighted. I think there's some, there's some mischief in them and there's delight. And they can't wait for you to come across this incredible love that wants to come through you you know there's an excitement here group number three thank you so much for tuning in and i look forward to seeing you next time mm -hmm.